symbol with your readings for uh, September the 3rd through September the 9th. Now, um, these are general readings, guys. If you would like a personal reading, you may click, sorry, click here. <laughs> click here for a personal reading. Um, listen, guys, if you're new, welcome. I'm so happy that you uh, stopped by and I really hope that you'll stick around and you'll keep coming back and that you enjoy these readings. Um, and if you're returning, guys, I love you. You're my heart. Thank you so much for being loyal and and uh, keep coming back. I want to thank my patrons. My patrons are amazing. Thank you so much for your generosity. And if you'd like to check out my Patreon page, um, you can click on this link here. Uh, I do postings just for um, just for the patrons and there's different levels. So check it out um, now. Uh, first of all, I do an astrological report for those of you who haven't been here before and then and I put that on every reading um, as an intro and then I go into the individual readings, um, zodiac signs. So there's a lot going on astrologically this week, guys. So I just wanted to um, mention that. So there's give me a minute. OK, so on the 5th. Mercury moves into Virgo and that is Mercury's home, you know, analytical. It feels very comfortable um, in Virgo. Now, Mercury in Virgo um, is a great opportunity for you to look at finances, to really kind of analyze what's working, what isn't, and to, you know, make plans for the future. Just be careful not to kind of overanalyze, you know, just kind of Take it easy, look at the situation and and figure out what's going to work for you going forward. Um, now, the next day, Saturn goes direct. Wow, that's three planets that have gone direct in the last couple of uh, weeks. We have Mercury and then uh, the week before last and then last week we had Mars and this week we have Capricorn. Um, so things are going to start to move forward. If you've been trying to start things and you've had blockages and, and some kind of barriers going up and you couldn't get it done, things are going to start moving forward now. Um, so Saturn uh, has been in retrograde since April the 17th earlier this year. So it's such a relief, you know, that Capricorn is going uh, forward. Uh, Saturn, sorry, Saturn. Is going forward in Capricorn um, which is a beautiful thing this is going to bring focus into our situation so along with Mercury and Virgo and then uh, Saturn in Capricorn going forward we are going to start kind of moving and shaking lots of things I think there's a lot of energy going on um, and things are really going to move fast now um, on the 7th uh, yeah, Mercury in uh, Virgo is trying to Saturn in Capricorn. Well, look, you know, first of all, these planets are going direct and then they're in this beautiful relationship with one another. So I really feel that this is a perfect time to kind of start something new, at least plan something new, right? Because then we've got the new moon on Sunday. But before I go any further, we also have, um, at the same time, we've got uh, Mercury trying to Uranus. Uranus is actually uh, in retrograde and it is in Taurus. So we're going to feel a little pull there, um, but it's in a good relationship. So kind of nice things might, might uh, pop up for us, great things. This is really a good time to kind of have a think tank, to really come up with some brilliant creative ideas. So the sun opposing Neptune, which is retrograde. So this is a brilliant time to really come up with some creative ideas. I mean, that's the energy. We are going to get these amazing creative ideas. Now, it's really good to kind of, you know, present them, get them planned. Don't sign anything yet because the sun opposing Neptune can make you a little fuzzy. So, you know, it can have that tendency. So don't just just hold off on signing anything or, or committing to anything, but definitely come up with these brilliant ideas, present them, you know, have meetings, go on interviews. And um, on the 8th, 
Venus uh, in Libra square is square to Mars in Capricorn. Um, there could be some challenges romantically here. You know, this could be um, uh, issues coming up in these in re in your relationship, in your romantic relationships. This this is a time to kind of um, look at it from a different angle and and solve it peacefully. Try try a different approach. Look, screaming and arguing never really works, does it? So try to think of stepping back and taking a different view and and solving this in a in a different way because this is an opportunity for a much deeper connection and and getting really close with one another when you when you resolve it in a peaceful way um so now uh on this and then we've got the new moon on sunday the new moon in virgo now this is compassionate and creative energy um, brilliant ideas I told you this is all weak um, but practical right um, now and at the same time Venus enters Scorpio so this is like very deep intense feelings and emotions around your loved one and so this is this is an intense time look these brilliant ideas are coming to you it's very important to write them down it's a new moon it's your intention and i've said this before when you write it down it's not about writing it down and saying i'm i, I'm, I intend to do this i intend to do that i intend to. it's about describing how it would feel if that was the case and as if you are experiencing that write that down because that is the law of attraction as you're writing that down and you're feeling it you are attracting it and um, what a brilliant way to start uh, to start an intention on the new moon and this moon uh, this new moon in particular so well every new moon I always say that this new moon <laughs> But this is very powerful, creative energy at play during this week, this whole week, guys. So anyway, um, without further ado, let's go to your cards, shall we? Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your reading for September the 3rd through September the 9th. And the first card out for you guys is the devil, darling. <laughs> what a handsome devil he is this is like being distracted and being tempted um, for material things so it's it's being too stuck on the material uh, platform if you will so when the devil comes in it's saying you need to kind of take you've got to focus on what really matters it's about focusing on uh, spirituality, about family, about friends, about things that really matter. Um, the material, your material wealth, it's about not working too hard, it's about not going, you know, uh, not being distracted by someone who's going to take you to a place that somebody who doesn't really it's almost like succumbing to peer pressure in a way it's somebody who's going to come along and say come on let's do this let's do that and it's not a good thing um or it can it can be just that you know you're so focused on uh the material realm and working instead of you know paying attention to your family and loved ones it can be it this is a distraction this it can be like an addiction too. something's coming up for you that is going to um that's going to perhaps distract you when the devil comes in it's saying just be aware you know don't be led astray that's what i'm getting you could be led astray um or the potential to be led astray is there but you know um, don't and clarifying it is the three of cups so you know this is about celebrating the magic in every moment it's about being with your with your loved ones it's about you know it's about love and emotion this is about you know material gain or addiction so 
I have a feeling that you need to kind of bring rein it in and you need to really focus on the one the loved ones people that really mean something that really love you and have your back don't be distracted by the handsome devil who really doesn't have your back right who's there to manipulate you and to lead you astray whatever this is it might not be a person it might be a thing you know it could be that only you can answer that so it's about you know it's about being aware if you have that awareness then you don't have to you know you don't have to be led astray this is saying go with your gut feeling you need to you know you need to do what's right and uh the next card that's coming up for you is the knight of cups i wondered if he was the knight of water here oh uh, Night, nights are all about movement. This is about an emotional, deep, deep connection. You've got love and friendship. The koi represents love and friendship. And that deep water is an emotional connection uh, with this. Could, you can have a potentially wonderful, deep connection, intense, deep connection with loved ones this week if you uh put that forward so this is a beautiful pot uh, potential and you've got the empress uh the empress is clarifying this card so the empress is this wonderful feminine and sensual energy get in touch with your feminine side and your um even if you're male we all have male and female sides so get in touch with that sensuality and that creativity this is she's like got these brilliant ideas creative brilliant ideas she's get involved with something creative this week when you when you do something creative you are really channeling source energy that's when you're really in touch with spirit that's when you're being guided so brilliant ideas uh, are likely to come your way this week and and they could spur a beautiful deep wonderful relationship um meaningful relationship with someone with a loved one um now the next card the next place you've got two cards here one is the seven of wands which is saying that if there's look there might be conflict and most likely there's conflict in your uh in your world right now there's something going on your you could be this usually right it's the one so it's usually at work this could be conflict at work or a business partnership or something like that something is happening where there's some conflict um, going on now when the seven of wands comes in seven I always say is introspective so it's about looking within it's about dealing with this in a very creative way but also from a higher perspective because you look at him he's kind of on top right and it's not like he's better than he's just coming from a higher perspective so this is about handling this in a very spiritual way it's about being creative um, and handling this now next to it you've got the uh king of cups and the king of cups comes in as he's he's here to help you taurus he's here to help you let go of something he's also the counselor he's available emotionally someone's going to help you get through this and it, and it's good to rely on someone it's to and to ask somebody's advice because it's the conflict you shouldn't um you shouldn't shy away from but you shouldn't uh don't look at this conflict like a red flag to a bull right taurus this is really important for you to remain calm and to bend a little because this is where you can succumb to peer pressure right so it's about bending a little but don't compromise your values so don't make a decision because you're feeling pressured by the group is very important because you know what's right you really know what's right so you need to kind of go in and really look at your heart and say i'm not just going to say yes or do this because they are pressuring me it's about being strong independent uh but not 
but not combative and obnoxious, right? It's not about that, but it is about having the courage to stand up for your convictions. And, and this is the counselor. So you can ask this person for help. You can ask this person for emotional support and guidance. And this person, this possibly a water sign, will help you through this situation, uh, Taurus. And look, clarifying it is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is an incredible, look, he's charismatic. He's fun. He's a brilliant leader. He's, you know, he's, he, look, he attracts people. He's very charming. But he's a really good leader when he's led spiritually. So this is saying come from a spiritual perspective. You know, this is all about being uh, spiritual. This is about looking at something from coming from a higher perspective all the way through the week. There's a lot going on energetically, astrologically. Um, so it's important for us to keep our emotions um, balanced and not to react, but to respond this week. Do not get led astray, either by a handsome devil uh, or something that's luring you away from doing the right thing. And don't succumb to peer pressure. Be independent. Um, just come from a place where you know is right, Taurus. You know it in your heart. You know what's right and you know what's wrong. Do the right thing. Don't take any shortcuts this week that's what i would say taurus thank you so much for tuning in please don't forget to like this video share it on your social media comment and subscribe if you haven't already Mwah! i love you all and i'll see you next week for a personal reading with mary go to www.liveinthesolution.com